Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relly and thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we are going to go over the top five reasons why Hollow Knight Silk Song is already a success. The game's not even out yet, but there are so many things that are pointing towards Silk Song. It's just going to it's just going to hit the gates. It's going to hit the ground running. It's going to be so good. I can't wait for this game. And so, uh, let's go ahead and start with the first thing. Uh, fans are so rabid. They're, they they want information so bad that even just hoping for information, fans will actually crash the website. And so, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, a Hollow Knight Silk Song was released, or the, uh, released, I wish. A uh, Hollow Knight Silk Song was announced on February 14th, 2019. That's when we got the trailer, got a little bit of an update. Um, and since then, on February, they will see just massive spikes in traffic. And so if we're, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, Google Trends a little bit here today. So this is like when Silk Song was announced, right? In February. And then over here uh, in June, we had E3 2019, where they said Silk Song coming soon. Not so much, but that's okay. And look, through all this time, there's still just constant people just searching for Hollow Knight, just searching for Silk Song, right? Uh, we we had a, we had a big spike of people searching while uh, they they were waiting for oh what was that Edge Magazine? People wanting more information. It's only building too as time goes on, and then also at February 14th, people just searching, wanting information. I remember people doing a countdown to midnight. PST when Team Cherry is in Australia, uh, they, they were doing a countdown almost every hour in the Hollow Knight Silk Song Discord server, um, just checking, checking, checking. It 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 never came. They they just crashed the website. Speaking of the website, uh, Hollow Knight Silk Song, they actually left finally got the website back up. Sorry, I don't mean to say finally. He was working on it for a little bit and uh. It, it looks good. It it he rebuilt it. He had to do a bunch of stuff. Every time I come to this website, I can't help. I always go to visit the press kit and I always check these dates here on the last modified because I'm expecting that once maybe we get a little bit closer to Hollow Knight Silk Song, maybe uh maybe these dates will update. Maybe the maybe they'll they'll upload something into one of these folders, you know? I've been checking this far too often. What one of these days, one day these dates will update and there will be some new information for Hollow Knight Silk Song. The next reason that Hollow Knight Silk Song is just gonna be massive right off the jump is the fandom is absolutely, it's massive. It is so big. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, even the, the Hollow Knight Reddit has 233,000 people in it, which is no small feat. I and mean, check out some other games like Celeste has 39,000 people in it. Not bad. Uh, Ori and the will of the wisps or orient the blind forest rather uh 16.9 thousand people dead cells i mean these are games that came out around hollow knight silk song they're kind of similar i i would expect them to be i kind of was expecting some of them to be a little bit bigger uh dead cells at uh 87.2k obviously as of the time of this recording it is huge so that's just on reddit uh if we check out the gaming discord uh i just I, I don't know how I found it. Randomly, I found Among Us uh, Global has 144,000 people in it, right? And the Hollow Knight Discord server has 107,000 people in it. I mean, when you compare uh, Hollow Knight compared to the, the, the crazy fandom that Among Us had when it was blowing up, like just a massive, massive thing, I don't... I, I can't imagine that these two things are even close together. Like if we were to Among Us versus Hollow Knight. Like, ha ah, of the, and they're so close in size. Like, who? Oh. Hollow Knight, the fandom is massive. So not just that, those are easier to measure, but then you've also got the Hollow Knight Wiki they are still updating and changing stuff on on the Hollow Knight wiki. They've been doing a great job with keeping that up. And then you've got the speedrun community. That is also just popping off. All right, check this out. So Hollow Knight, if you go to speedrun.com, this is like the official spot for all of the if, if you're going to submit a speedrun, this is where you'd go to do it. There are there are guides here, there are forms. This is like the place to go, right? 
Um, along with the Hollow Knight Discord server, there's a spot for speed running in there. But if you check the stats, there are almost 2,000 people who are following this. And so to compare this, uh, the Subnautica only it has 336 people following for the speed run. And then, granted, I was actually really surprised. Uh, Celeste has almost 3,000 people following it. So, I don't know. I just picked a couple of, of games that I thought would be around what I would think Hollow Knight would be at. Um, yeah, Celeste has a lot of people speed running. But Hollow Knight, it, all of their fandoms, like all of them across the board are just... It, They've got so many people who are backing this. Not only that, but also the art community is really big. If you were to check out uh, uh, Instagram or, or heck, even Twitter, all this stuff, there's there's constantly just floods of artwork just just being put out there, and it is so good. Like what whatever whatever you like to do with Hollow Knight, as far as being creative and being a part of the community, there is a place for you to be just part of this community and. All of it across the board has been so welcoming and so wholesome, so good. Um, yeah, I, I can't, I, I don't have words to put to it. It's just, I, I've never seen the community as awesome as the Hollow Knight community. So what I'm trying to get at is the community is so big for Hollow Knight and it's got all these different like little niches for, for people. That's just going to roll over into Hollow Knight Silk Song and there's so many people who are invested already and they're just it's just gonna steamroll it's just gonna steamroll it's gonna snowball it's gonna snowball into hollow knight silk song and i'm very excited to see how that how that plays out especially around launch it's gonna be so good i can't wait to see it so speaking of before launch i like to take a look at more google trends and take a look at uh hollow knight silk song versus pokemon snap pokemon snap is releasing very very soon and this blue line here is Silk Song. Here's the launch, or the again the the trailer in February that the announcement trailer. And again, here's E3. It's just so much information. This is this is Pokemon Snap though, right? Getting getting their information and getting closer to launch. We don't even have a close to launch, and Silk Song is is just going. It is it is up there. Like this is. All these all these spikes for Silk Song, this is great news. We're gonna we're gonna see so many people in the community. They're already they're already interested. Like it's gonna it's gonna blow up. Silk Song is gonna do so good at launch. It is it's ridiculous. I cannot wait. And Pokemon Snap has nostalgia going for it. Speaking of that, nostalgia. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. This is the spike for Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 right here versus Silk Song, but still, that's pretty dang close. Zelda and Silk Song are like neck and neck pre launch. And then also, another one I want to look at was uh, versus Ratchet and Clank, A Rift Apart, another like nostalgic brand. And look at that. Silk Song it's coming in hot, coming in hot. I, I think that Silk Song is going to pull some massive numbers. Uh, speaking of massive numbers, man, see, it's just, it's just rolling through. Wow, this is just just all in order. So this is going to be the fourth thing of why I think Hollow Knight Silk Song is going to do so good. Uh, the sales numbers, right? So uh, February 14th was uh, 2019. We got, a, we got some numbers from Hollow Knight, right? Uh, they posted... Uh, this was on uh, the Silk Song revealed on February 14th, 2019, that 2.8 million people had bought and played the game. That's a that's a lot of people, right? But let's look at like kind of how this was flown through. Um, we do have some other sales numbers that Hollow Knight sold over 500,000 copies by November of 2017. So November of 2017. Remember the game re originally released in uh, mid-February, towards the end of February of uh, 2017, right? So by November-ish, right around here, here's 500,000 copies. By here, just before this, before the spike, June 3rd, so right here, they had, they had done 100,000 sales, surpassed 100,000 
or sorry, a million units, excuse me, a million units on the 11th of June. On the 12th of June is when Hollow Knight released on the Nintendo Switch. That's this spike right here. Hollow Knight was announced at E3, shadow dropped on the Nintendo Switch. Boom, just like that. So from here, 1 million sales. We also know that the next the next marker that we have is the the 2.8 million sales in February of 2019. So, all the way out in January, February of 2019, right about, right about here, they went from 1 million to 2.8. That's a that's a lot of sales. Almost almost an extra 2 million sales in this little bit of time here. This little spike here, it's kind of a big spike, right? If I remember correctly, Hollow Knight had released on the other consoles, Xbox and PlayStation, on February 25th, 2018. So that's right here. That's when it released on the other consoles. And we know that we had 2.8 million sales in February of 2019. So there we go. In this little bit of time, they had they had done almost 2 million sales. Over here, we've got uh, E3 2019, right? This is where they said Hollow Knight Silk Song coming soon. That's this little little spike. More people getting into Silk Song. So if we go from here to here, we call that another. Let's say let's call that another 2 million. Call it another four, six, eight. They could be. They could be at 10 million sales, give or take. I mean, back of the napkin, I may, maybe maybe eight to nine. I don't know. Somewhere somewhere in that range, the sales are through the roof. They're doing good. Oh, the other thing I should mention is that this spike right here is when the game was released on, uh, I believe it was, yeah, November. That's when it came out on the PlayStation, uh, I was going to say PlayStation Game Pass, but what is that? PlayStation Now? PlayStation Whatever, whatever the PlayStation thing is. That's a lot of people playing the game for, for I want I want to say free. It's not really free. They're paying for the, the, the pass. That's a, that's a lot of people playing the game. That's a ton, a ton of people playing the game. And a lot of those people enjoy the game. We know that based on the reviews and how awesome the game is. We, we know it's an amazing game. It's got some of the best ratings of any game out there. A lot of these people are going to want to get into Hollow Knight Silksong. In fact, a lot of these people who came in after the announcement trailer are probably playing the game because they're excited for Silk Song and they want to play the first game before the second game comes out. And before I move on to the final point, I just want to say I sponsor myself on these videos. Uh, putting out some merch, uh, some fan art. The fan art changes probably every month or so. This design is going to be ending very, very soon. In, in fact, it's, it's probably already gone. Uh, next design is already up. Uh, so you got to check back in and check the link in the description. Okay. The final reason that Hollow Knight Silk Song is going to do absolutely amazing, even right at launch, is that there are just so many more people who are covering the game. Uh, I mean, you've, these videos for Hollow Knight are, are in the millions of views. And you think of just like how slowly Hollow Knight started out. I mean, it had not a whole lot going on, but I mean, you've, you've got game theory up in here uh the hollow knight silk song revealed announcement trailer 3.4 million views like this is this is so big this is so big there's so many people now covering this game um you got the completionist up in here uh girlfriend reviews there's so much momentum and hype for this game it's not even funny um and when hollow knight first came out I played, I started playing it a year later. I didn't start playing Hollow Knight until after it released on the Nintendo Switch. So when I started playing it, I'm not gonna lie, I I had to look up some reviews because I got stuck. I was trying to find uh, was trying to find the Shade Cloak if I remember correctly. No, the King's Brand. I got stuck trying to find the King's Brand and sometimes I just don't have time to get lost for as long as I would like to. Just getting frustrated with it tried to find a video I spent more time trying to find a video to tell me where to go than anything so I started making I started making a couple of Hollow Knight tutorial videos because I wanted to make the, the tutorials that I wanted to see put them out there 
the rest is history. What I'm trying to say is there's just so much more content. There's just so much more out there. There's so much more to the fandom. I can't, like Hollow Knight Silk Song. It, like, I can't imagine it just being a flop. You know what I mean? Like, like it's there's so much going for this game. It's got so much momentum. I mean, they would have to release a broken game worse than Cyberpunk 2077, worse than uh, what, what's oh man, uh, No Man's Sky. They would have to release something so utterly broken for this thing to be an absolute failure. The game might not be everyone's cup of tea and it might feel a little bit different playing as Hornet. It might not be the exact same, but it's it's going to launch so good. I don't know. That's what I think. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think Silk Song is going to be doing good? Are you excited for it? Are you nervous for the game launch? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Relia, and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks.